We started with one single individual and have now counted well over 100,000. That's 500 pages of data and 250 days of labor. This is the biggest experiment I've ever been involved in. In my PhD project, we study the effects of climate change on small water animals. We work with water fleas because they are common all over the world. They are easy to keep in the laboratory and reproduce in large numbers. Every day we check each bottle to see if the water fleas are alive and have reproduced. We count all offspring and then send them on the great journey. In nature, these water fleas would live in lakes and ponds. Since our space in the laboratory is somewhat limited, every water flea gets its own miniature lake. In our experiment, they are all female and reproduce only by cloning. This allows us to link our observations directly to the climate change treatment. We choose two environmental factors that are known to be affected by climate change, namely the browning of water and ultraviolet radiation. We have to be in full control of the light situation during the experiment, so we had to block the windows and build an artificial lightning system for the water fleas. To measure the growth of the water fleas, they are filmed with a micro camera and the films are automatically analyzed. After counting and measuring, we feed the water fleas with green algae. To make sure we feed the right amount, we use trusted equipment that has been around for longer than I have. In the end, our research will provide new insight on the effects of climate change in aquatic systems and how organisms, like our water fleas, are able to cope with a rapidly changing environment. I'm Raoul, and this is how we study climate change at the University of Oslo.